yeah, you know, he hasn't uh, – um, he, he's – and I think I talked about this a little bit last week. He's practiced really well. I mean, he's – He's had stretches in practice where he's making three out of four, you know, we'll have a stretch of, let's say, six possessions, and he gets threes on three or four of them. He's making all three of them or three of three or four. I mean, he, so he's, he's really practiced well. And that one, that one can be tough um, for, for a young guy. Um, so, you, you know, my, my message to the guys is, is, is always been, man, just get in and work. And, that's, and Spencer's in there every single day. And he's practicing well, so I, it's going to happen for him. I mean, it, it'll happen. You know, it's going to happen. It could be Wednesday. Uh, it could be Saturday. Uh, but it'll happen soon for him. Uh, and then I think with with Isaiah and a couple of the other guys, just finding some finding some more opportunities for him. You know, helping them feel just a little bit more part of it, probably. Um, not that they don't handle the ball some with what we're running and, and get into some spots. Uh, but we, we we do. We need three or four more guys playing with a little more bounce in their step on offense. Um, but I, I don't, you know, Spencer's going to make three or four threes in a game here real soon. He, he works extremely hard, and he can really shoot. So he, it's going to happen for him. I, th- I thought on the post game show, maybe uh, <clears throat> really your, I thought you were hinting maybe about adjusting the starting lineup a little bit. Is oh. that still, is that still? Uh, you know, Ryan, I, I, I – uh, I don't know that that it's going to happen um, for Saturday, or I mean for Wednesday. Um, the the one you know, Wyatt has played so well. The reason I, I hesitate a little bit, Ryan, is Wyatt's played so well for us really all year, and he's played well in the starting lineup, and he's played well coming off the bench. And so I go back and forth a little bit as to okay, what do we do here? You know, do we need him in the starting lineup to help us get off to a better start? We had a great start against uh, Stony Brook. And we, and we played really good for you know a long time in that in that first half. Um, so I go back and forth a little bit there. Um, and then Biggie was terrific against North Dakota, and he wasn't as good against Stony Brook. And as a new guy, that happens. You kind of go back and forth. Where Luke provides a stability of he's got some experience. He knows exactly what's going on. He gives the other guys confidence because he does know what's going on. So, um, yeah, I go back and forth a little bit, you know, with those guys as well. And. Uh, Ty played good against Grand Canyon. You know, he got seven rebounds. He didn't play as good against North Dakota, and he wasn't moving and wasn't as sharp. It didn't feel like against Stony Brook. So we're still trying to get him back to where we all know he's capable of playing. And so I go back and forth a little bit with him. Uh, Isaiah hasn't played um, as well since he's come out of the starting lineup, and he wasn't, you know, he wasn't playing great before that. But he's shown that he can you know, last year and early this year. Um, so. I, you know, there's I go back and forth on on those guys I mentioned. You know, just on what's what's going to be best. And our you know our team is uh, we're kind of you know, we're kind of rocking back and forth on that part of it. I I'm not as concerned about the starting lineup as I as I am about getting more guys involved offensively. You know, we, we need more than AJ White and Trey playing well, right? I mean, we, we've got to have seven or eight guys that are that are going. And so I, I've I've just got to do a better job today and tomorrow in practice of, of getting guys just feeling a little bit better uh, and getting to, getting going a little bit offensively. We, just, we have to have more guys involved.